One of the most popular new video games is Trombone Champ, which is a Guitar Hero style game for the trombone. Trombone Champ is also the nickname of a very popular lady in my neighborhood. <laughs> Rishi Sunak will become Great Britain's first ever prime minister of Indian descent. Said his mom, okay, why not king? <laughs> A new study says that the combined mass of every ant on earth is greater than the mass of every mammal and bird combined. Thanks mostly to this juicy bitch. <laughs> During a White House ceremony, President Biden wished Kamala Harris a happy birthday, then accidentally called her a great president. <laughs> Even worse, he was talking to a portrait of Michelle Obama. <laughs> Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker denied reports that he paid for a girlfriend's abortion, saying, I send money to a lot of people, before adding, you know, for abortions. <laughs> After the news broke that Walker paid for his ex-girlfriend's abortion, he raised more than $500,000. Because dollars are the only thing Walker is willing to raise. <laughs> Herschel Walker denied allegations from a second woman that he pushed her to have an abortion, saying, I'm done with this foolishness. Which is also what Walker says when he takes off the condom. <laughs> The woman claims that Walker drove her to an abortion clinic, then waited in the parking lot for hours until she had the procedure. Not only that, while he was in the parking lot, he got two more women pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> New Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has been accused of spreading white supremacist ideas, which is crazy. We're now counting Italians as white? <laughs> John Fetterman, who is still recovering from a stroke, and Dr. Mehmet Oz met for their only debate before the midterms. And just like in his puppy experiments, <laughs> Dr. Oz showed no mercy. <laughs> Fetterman, Fetterman began his opening statement by saying, good night, everybody. It was a bizarre moment that debate watchers called his high point. I honestly don't understand why Fetterman was allowed to do this debate. Who's his campaign manager, the Miami Dolphins concussion doctor? <laughs> and by the way, it's not like Dr. Oz did great. He just did slightly better than a recent stroke victim. <laughs> At one point, Dr. Oz suggested that if a woman wants an abortion, she should consult a local politician, which sounds like a great way to get an abortion five years late and 10 million over budget.